Hey, my name is John. I'm here uh, with Portland Nursery to show you how to clean out your hummingbird feeders. Uh, it is absolutely necessary that these get cleaned at least twice a week in the spring, in the summer when it's hotter out, and at least once a week in the fall, in the winter when it's a little cooler. If you happen to live in an area lucky enough to have hummingbirds around all year round, like we are here in Oregon with Anna's Hummingbird. So again, that's twice a week, at least when it's a little bit warmer out, and at least once a week when it's a little cooler out. So you can see some different varieties of hummingbird feeders here. Um, you're gonna clean them all the exact same way. And they're all really easy to break down. Most of them only have two or three components. So if you go outside, your feeder's empty, or it's that time of the week to bring them inside and clean them. Just go out and grab them, bring them inside, take them apart real quick. Again, this one has one, two, three pieces to it. Bring it over to the sink and use hot tap water to clean it out. Uh, don't use any soaps, no bar soaps, no hand soaps, no dish soap, no soap, just hot tap water to clean them out. Um, some people also use a very, very light uh, a mixture of vinegar, and tap water. But in all truth, the tap water is gonna work just fine on its own. Now, when you go to make the mixture to fill these back up, this is very important. The only two ingredients you're gonna use are refined white sugar, and again, tap water. Uh, no brown sugar, no artificial sweeteners, no honey, just refined white sugar and tap water. Now you're gonna use a quarter cup of this sugar, refined white sugar, for every one cup of tap water. Again, so it's a quarter cup of this for every one cup of tap water. You're gonna put that into a pot, bring it over to the stove, crank it up to a boil. Uh, once it's uh, boiling, pull it off the stove, let it cool back down to room temperature and you're gonna have your, uh, your nectar for these feeders. Now, you'll notice that some of these feeders, almost all of them actually, uh, are red. Uh, that's because hummingbirds are attracted to that color. Um, do not use any red dye in your hummingbird feeder solution. That's bad for the birds too. So no soaps, no dyes, just refined white sugar and water. Um, now, once you have that kind of mixture ready to go, just fill the feeder back up. Bring it back outside, the birds are gonna love it. Uh, if you have any questions, you can visit portlandnursery.com or visit us at one of our two locations at 50th and Stark and 90th and Division here in Portland, Oregon. Uh, thanks a lot, we hope to see you soon.